The Nimitz-class aircraft carriers, used to be the largest warships ever constructed. Although superseded by the new Ford class, the ten Nimitz carriers will continue to form the bulk of the Navy's carrier force, for the next 20 to 30 years. The first ship of the class, was laid down on June 22, 1968. The Nimitz retained the layout of previous carriers, with an angled flight deck, island superstructure, and four steam-powered catapults that could launch four planes a minute. At 1,000 feet long, she was just 24 feet longer than the older Kitty Hawk, but nearly 19,000 tons heavier. More than 5,000 personnel are assigned to Nimitz carriers at sea, with 3,000 manning the ship, and another 2,000 in the air wing. The two Westinghouse nuclear reactors, can collectively generate 190 megawatts of power, enough to power 47,000 American homes. Also, nuclear carriers have lower operating costs, over their service lifetimes. Although nuclear-powered carriers, have a maximum official speed of 30 plus knots, their true speed is suspected to be considerably faster. Nimitz and her sister ships, can accelerate and decelerate more quickly than a conventional ship, and can cruise indefinitely. Of course, the real strength of a carrier, is its air wing. The venerable F-14 Tomcat, was replaced by the F-18 Super Hornets. EA-6 Prowler, was replaced by the EA-18 Growler, electronic attack aircraft. Today, the carrier air wings have approximately, 60 planes in their arsenal at any given time. The Nimitz-class carriers, have participated in nearly every crisis and conflict, the United States has been involved in over the past 42 years. Nimitz was involved in the failed attempt to rescue, U.S. Embassy personnel from Tehran in 1980. During Operation Desert Storm, the Nimitz-class carrier Theodore Roosevelt participated in air operations against Iraq. In 1999, Theodore Roosevelt again participated in the NATO bombing of Yugoslavia. After 9-11, Carl Vinson and Theodore Roosevelt participated in the first air strikes against the Taliban and Al-Qaeda. Since then, virtually all Nimitz-class carriers have supported air operations over Afghanistan, and both the invasion and subsequent occupation of Iraq. The Nimitz-class carriers are a monumental achievement, an enormous, highly complex and yet highly successful ship design. The ships will carry on the Nimitz name, through the 2050, with the entire class serving a whopping, 80 consecutive years.